Hey everyone, this is Brock with PDQ. This is our Getting Started series with PDQ Connect. Today we're taking a look at the devices and inventory inside of PDQ Connect. So we'll head on over to our PDQ Connect console. Uh, here, if you click on the devices tab, you can see all of your devices that we have inside of your organization. I'm gonna go ahead and pick on one of my favorites, Aang, and we'll open him up and we're gonna take a look at all the different uh, data points that are collected through PDQ Connect. So over here, we have the overview screen. Now this, there's a ton of useful information in this screen. Uh, we've got, you know, name, host name. We've also got IP address, Mac address. We've got uh, OS information, like the version, stuff like that. Uh, we've got other uh, details like the memory, chassis, serial number. We collected a lot of great information. I definitely recommend spending a lot of time on this screen and building filters and stuff like that based off of this information. But we'll move on. We've got some information that we're gathering through uh, Active Directory and Entra. Uh, we've also got our Active Directory groups, which you can see this is not a member of any right here. We've got our CPU page where it will pull back your information about your processors. This uh, screen right here, you can see we've run something here before, but this is the command screen. This is so easy to use and just quickly deploy a command off, of, off to a remote computer. So if you take a look at this, down at the bottom, we've got an option to choose between PowerShell and CMD. If I go on the PowerShell command here, we'll just send off a get process command. Fire that off. You'll see it was in progress and it's already completed. It's already returning back the results for us. Uh, this is, again, like I said, so simple to just fire off those commands that you need to to your remote computers, okay? Next, we'll go to deployments. These are kind of deployments that we've sent in the past to this computer. Disk drives, this is a good one to know uh, the status of your drives, how full they are, their disk health, things like that. Uh, drivers, so you can keep up to date on your drivers, see the, the vendors, the, the signed vendor versions. We can keep going. Files and folders, we'll talk about this a little bit later in another uh, video, but this is where you're gonna use your different scanners that you can use to pull back information about files and folders on your computers. Networking, we got information about our NIC. Registry, again, this is kind of like the files and folders where we're gonna pull back information using a scanner to pull back information about the registry. This is a big one right here. You'll probably spend a lot of time on this screen. This is the software screen where we pull back all sorts of information from your endpoints. We can see all the different software that are installed on that endpoint. You know, we've got 7-Zip, Discord, Edge. We've got the PDQ Connect agent right here. We've even got the registry paths as well as uninstall strings, okay? So this is a really, really good and useful information. The last couple we have, we have Windows features. This is if you've got specific Windows features enabled or disabled on a remote endpoint. We've also got our Windows update so we can make sure that we're patched and up to date. We can see the uh, all the different install dates on those so we can easily check and make sure that we are covered. Okay, now if we go back out to our main devices page, what we can do up here, we'll go through these options right here that we have. This first option we have up the top, if you have an environment with a lot of computers, you can pull back just tons and tons of data here. It's more useful if you actually start to filter that out. So if I wanted to, I could just type something simple in there and just pull back the computer I'm looking for. And you can pretty much search for anything with that top filter, you can pretty much search anything that is here on this table, okay? So we could type in, let's see what computers I've been signed into. And there we go. We got our login right here, last user, and we've got the computers that I've used. Okay, we'll move over to the columns right here. So these are the columns that you'll see by default in your Connect instance. You got a lot of useful information here. The, the names, the deployments, the status of them, whether they're online or not, the user, but you can add more information if you need to. So we can go over here to the columns and you'll see a lot of the ones that are already selected by default, but we can go in and actually add any of these additional columns by just uh, switching that toggle over. So let's see, we will go ahead and see how much disk space we each have on, on these devices. So you can see just by hitting that one toggle, we can easily see how much uh, disk space we have left on those machines. And we can also sort by that information too. Okay, so we'll go ahead and turn that off for now. Okay, and then next we have the filter option. Now this filter can get really in depth. You can pull back any information that we've gathered on any of the tables 
in PDQ Connect. So for instance, I could go, let's see, software name contains, and we will do Chrome. We'll apply that filter. And I guess you should see, okay, so we've got 20 total devices in our environment. And here you can see we're pulling back 18 of those. If I change that filter, it'll probably, probably narrow down a little bit more if we change that to Firefox. And we'll uh, apply that filter. There you go right here. Now we're pulling back nine of those devices. That filter can get really in depth. You can add multiple layers to the filter. Like I could say, we can add a filter here. We'll go or we'll add software name contains Chrome and we'll apply that one. And what this is gonna do, this is gonna look for devices that have either Firefox or Chrome installed. So we will probably pull back another one. Yep. So now we're pulling back 19 out of our 20 devices that have either Firefox or Chrome installed. So those are really, really powerful. Uh, though it's important to note that if I go if I go out of this screen, like if I go to a, the deployment screen and then back to devices, that's going to wipe that filter out. Okay. Uh, density that just gives you an option of how you want to view your devices. I kind of like this uh, narrow approach, but I think uh, by default you're on the standard one, which spaces things out a little bit more for you. Lastly, I want to point out the export CSV. This is really cool because it can just like quickly and come in here and export this information about your environment. Okay, so we can click export CSV. Got to download just like that. We'll open the folder up. You can see that we've got a CSV file here. I can open it and it pulls back all this information for us. What's also cool is I can go back to columns and say I wanted to add requires reboot to that. That'll actually pull up in the CSV as well. So we'll export that CSV open that file up. You can see that right here requires reboot. You can see that that field right there. Yes, requires reboot, requires reboot. No, it does not require reboot. Um, so it's, it's that easy to just add and kind of configure those different uh, data sets and export that as a CSV just like that. Okay. And it would probably help if you actually import it into something useful like Excel or something like that. Anyway, so that is all the information you need to know about the devices and inventory that were uh, that are in PDQ Connect. Uh, there's just there's so much you can do with that information. We're going to get to that more in some of our later videos when we're talking about uh, groupings and when we're talking about deployments, things like that. So tons of great stuff. If you have any questions about this process, definitely hit us up in the comments down below. Also, your other option is you can go to Discord. We've got an awesome Discord community. Post your questions in there and they will respond super quick. We've got some great power users in there. Lastly, if you want to make sure you're catching the rest of our series, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And as always, I'm Brock with PDQ.